Hello, I'm Dr. Chris Blevins here at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center. I am the equine field service clinician here at the university where we take students out on farm calls and do general equine work. One of the most common things that we do to horses is place a bandage on their leg for multiple purposes. One is for support, the other is for wounds or inflammation and to get edema out of the leg. The reasons to use reusable material are that of which is prescribed by your veterinarian and should always be consulted prior to use. But with multiple bandaging uh, to help with that of potential cost, uh, reusable material can be used. However, with reusable material, we always need to remember there is a lifespan and the multiple times that you wash it, it potentially could lose its integrity uh, and should be, again, of in question, please consult your veterinarian in reusing bandage material. Of the reusable bandage, we will always start with that of the quilt against the skin. And again, we will start below that of the coronary band or on the hoof capsule. If we start too high, we could always potentially cause edema or fluid to gather right above the hoof capsule and the skin. And making sure that the skin is clean and there's no debris on that prior to placing your bandage material. And the bandage itself needs to be clean in this aspect washed if it's going to be reused a second or subsequent time. The quilt will be placed again almost from the ground up and will just mold to that contour of the leg. It does not really have to go on tight but we try to prevent that of creases against the skin when applying this quilt as that protective layer. The next layer will be use of a polo wrap. And there's a lot of different types of polo wraps. Ones that has a little bit more elasticity to it could help with the contour and placement and hold on that of a support wrap. So we'll start at the distal end of this one. And again, we're gonna allow for a little bit of that quilt to show at the very bottom. And then we're gonna start snugging this polo wrap to mold or contour and support this leg with the wrap. So again, pulling this polo wrap on fairly snug will allow for that of support and prevent the bandage from becoming too loose and turning even during the application of this wrap. Overlapping by half, once we get to the top of this bandage, we will again allow for a little bit of that quilt to show and so the polo wrap isn't touching that of the skin, the quilt is our protective layer. As we get to the end of this and the strap will then be secured on there and that's usually a Velcro strap. Sometimes a Velcro strap can be helped to hold on by adding some extra tape just around there so it doesn't unravel prior to replacement. Replacement of this wrap should be that of similar to that of disposable wraps and sometimes one to three day replacement. Again, consulting your veterinarian in uh, replacement of the wrap is always important. And always, if the wrap looks loose and is moving around the horse's leg, you should always call your veterinarian and potentially rewrap the leg at that point. In removing the reusable polo wrap and quilt. You can always rewrap the polo as you're taking it off. That way you don't get confused on how it'll go back on when you reapply it. However, if it is dirty, has organic material, hay stuff, uh, or any other sticks or debris on this, uh, including that of blood, uh, you should always wash the polo wrap and the quilt prior to reapplying it back onto the leg. Again, if you have any questions of that, of bandaging a horse's leg, always consult your veterinarian 
uh, in addition to any concerns of any pressure sores that may arise due to the bandaging, and that would be, again, of concerns where hair is removed or not on the skin and sometimes even bleeding in areas that did not have blood. Again, I'm Dr. Chris Blevins at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to contact your veterinarian or contact us here at the Veterinary Health Center at the College of Veterinary Medicine at Kansas State University.